Every year, Jackson EMC hits the road, traveling to local middle schools and delivering big checks for bright ideas. Wow, this is great. How awesome. In fact, since 2015, the Jackson EMC Bright Ideas Grant Program has awarded more than $340,000 to our middle school teachers, supporting a variety of innovative projects in the classroom. I'm planning on doing a robot Olympics. Through Bright Ideas Grant, we were able to purchase us wind turbine kits. We're going to buy 3D printers for our innovation station. For a long time, I've wanted to do something real big with kids, which is launch a weather balloon, and thanks to Jackson EMC, we were able to do so. If you are a middle school teacher in our service area with an innovative classroom project, we would love to bring a big check to you. Let's take a look at how to submit your Bright Ideas Grant application. Submitting your Bright Ideas grant application is a simple and straightforward process, but there are a few things to keep in mind. Let's walk through it together. First, we'll go to jacksonemc.com slash bright ideas. Click application process. If you scroll down, you will see eligibility, the criteria, preparing your grant application, tips from the judges, instructions, and the list of eligible schools. We scroll back up and click on the online application. The application will pop up and we're ready to begin. The first part of the application is your information and your school's information. Be sure to type in your name, your school, school address, phone numbers, and especially your cell phone in case we need to reach you. Next, scroll to the general information about the project. What is the name of your project? For this exercise, we're using the data from one of last year's winning grants. Check on the curriculum area that your grant will address. All subject areas are included. What is the grade level that will use your project? Add that, along with the number of students who will use it. Will the project involve teamwork? Will the items purchased be used by additional classrooms? And if so, estimate how many. Next, let's move to Project Overview. Remember, do not use identifying information in this section. That includes the name of your school, your name, or the name of your county. We highly encourage you to write your grant proposal on a Word document and save it. That way, you can just copy and paste. So for our project proposal, we will just copy and paste. This is a brief description or narrative of your project. Next, the project innovation. What makes your project innovative, unique, or creative? You can use bullet points or a narrative form. Next, the project implementation. This is where you will describe how you will implement your project. Next, the project's goals and objectives. How will this benefit your students? Lastly, let's go to project evaluation. What will students learn? And how will you measure that? Next. Complete the information on your project's budget. Remember, $2,000 is the limit. Make sure you check the box that you are a certified teacher in Georgia and that you have reviewed this with your principal. Review your application, then you're ready to click Submit. Next, you will receive a notice that your application has been received and you will receive a confirmation email in a few minutes. That's it. Now that you've seen how to submit your application, Let's review some tips from our judges. Remember to keep your proposal focused on the benefits of the project for your students. Tell us how your project will improve students' learning experience. Don't use your character space explaining unnecessary details like ordering supplies or how they will be shipped. Check your budget numbers. Remember, $2,000 is the limit. If you are asking for software or equipment, remember it must be related to a program or your project. Jackson EMC is proud to support our teachers, our schools, and our communities. We can't wait to deliver a big check to your classroom. Thanks, Jackson EMC! Woo! Go to jacksonemc.com slash bright ideas and make it happen.